first letter in the ancient Egyptian alphabet is the vulture. This vulture is called Aleph, similar to the letter Aleph in Arabic, closely related to the letter A in English. It makes an ah sound. Not a short A, but a long A sound. Ah, Aleph. The next letter of the alphabet is the single reed leaf. It makes an E or an E eh sound, sort of like an E in English. And it can also be written as two dashes, important to keep that in mind. It's also important to take a note of its form and not to confuse it with some other shapes. Uh, there's also a feather with a bulge near the top here and a reed leaf with legs at the bottom. These are different signs, so do not get them confused. The next letter in the alphabet is the double reed leaf, which makes a Y sound like Y. Very simple. Our next letter is this arm symbol called Ein. It's a letter, it's a sound that's also found in Arabic. It's the ah sound. Similar to Aleph, but deeper in the throat. So the last letter we'll be covering in this video is Wu or Wa. It's a similar to a W or a U in English. It's written either as a quail chick or as a curl of rope, which looks simply just like a squiggle. Now for something fun here to end the video, you'll see I have here a picture of an ancient Egyptian text. If you go through the text, you should be able to see uh, some hieroglyphs that we just learned today that you can pick out. You should be able to see the quail chick, the reed leaf, and the double reed leaf at least. There might be some others in there. Now one thing you'll notice though when you go through is that they're backwards in this text from how they were in the images I gave you earlier. That is because ancient Egyptian can be written from left to right like English or from right to left like Arabic or Hebrew. It could also be written from up to down and the symbols are arranged accordingly so when you read these you want to look at the shape of the hieroglyphs and try to find out which way the text, texts are going before you try to read them. But that's something that you don't have to worry about for a while. You're still learning.